Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This is the third video of a three-part tutorial where I will be showing you how to create pop art in the style of Roy Lichtenstein. So in this video we'll be covering and finalizing our pop art and adding our details but in the, previously, in the previous two videos I've shown you how to draw the pop art and in the second video I showed you how to color the pop art. Uh, if you're joining me for the first time, I suggest you go to the description and navigate back to the previous videos. There's links in the description. Or if you're joining me from the other videos, welcome back. Um, we are going to make a start and this will be our final outcome. Now let's go back to our Photoshop document that where we left off last. And we are going to look to add the detail now in the background. So let's go back to Illustrator. And what we're going to do is we are going to make the star background. So we're going to come over to our menu and we're going to click on the star tool. And we're going to click and hold. Now, normally you can see that um, normally your star will be a five pointed star like this. But what we want to do is we want to create a big star with lots of points. So if I press up and down on my keyboard, like so, I can toggle the amount of points that the star has. And if I want to toggle the size of the points, I shall press and hold Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and click, well, my mouse is already clicked down, so I'm just going to drag my mouse, drag my mouse pointer out, and I can toggle the height of the points. So I think I'm just about happy with that one. So I'm going to leave go. And we've got ourselves a white star. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the stroke and keep it white. And with that selected, I'm going to come to edit, copy, and come back into Photoshop and come over to my layers quickly. And we want this on the top. So I'm going to click my top layer and edit paste and I'm going to paste that as a pixels and when that's ready I'm just going to move it into place and I'm going to come over and double click on the layer and rename that to star and once that's done I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to come to color overlay in my layer style and let's make that an orange a dark orange Okay, and let's move that in place. And then what we're going to do next is when we're happy with the positioning, we're going to come to the background, select the layer, come back to our star, and click this little button here called Add Layer Mask. And what that has done is created a layer mask which means that we haven't deleted any information, we've just literally created a mask. Now what we can do is if you look closely at the layer, there's a little chain which means that the mask is linked to the background, to the star image. If we click on the chain, that means that we can still move our star around and that mask will stay in place. So we can continue to move that star around and find the place, the right place for it. Well, I'm actually happy with the star in place right now, so I'm going to move on to the next step, which is to create the speech bubble in the top. So we're going to come back into Illustrator, and here we are with the star. I'm going to get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to draw the speech bubble. Now, we've got ourselves some brushes from the previous uh, drawing example, and I'm going to use the thickest brush, which happens to be the hair outline, I'm going to grab my brush tool and I'm going to draw myself a big speech bubble. Um, maybe, maybe try again. That'll do. And then I'm going to draw myself a smaller bubble and then a smaller bubble again. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to color them. Um, whoops, undo that. I'm going to layer them on top of each other 
and I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to bring up my Pathfinder panel and with them all selected, all three selected, I'm going to click on Unite. And when you click on Unite, it combines them all, it joins them all up. So I'm actually going to undo that because I want to get a more closer bubble. So I'm going to bring them a little bit more closer together. And maybe I'm going to make that just a little bit wider. And select all and hit that. That's looking good. So with that done, I'm going to edit, copy, come back into Photoshop and edit, paste. And I'm going to paste as the pixels again. And that's looking all right. I'm just going to hit enter. At the moment, it's hollow. We're just going to grab our paint bucket and quickly fill that with some white. And come over and name that to our speech bubble. And that's great. It's grand. And press V. That's right. And I'm going to move it just out of the canvas here. It's a bit big at the moment. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And holding the shift and clicking on the corner, I'm just going to move it down just a little bit. And let's move it. Let's see what we've got. Move it just a little bit. Seems just fine. Maybe just. Maybe just move it into position. And that looks like it's going to be just fine. Now, I want to rotate that. So I'm just going to retransform again. I think that's looking just fine. Now, now for the text. So what, what I've got is I've got like a handwriting font. And you can download this for free off the internet. If you're interested, go to the description. I've su I've supplied a link there. So I'm going to make a start and put on the typography. Right then. So I'm going to change the size of my font to something like around 79 to get a good view of what I'm doing. And I'm going to change the font to, I think it was... Let's find it. It's font is Janda Everyday Casual. And we're going to type in get our caps lock and change that to black. So what? And we're going to right click, uh, rather click on the drop down and duplicate the layer and bring that down and change our font to something a little bit smaller. What we have to sell the Bentley. <laughs> Spoiled rich folk. Let's put that. Let's, have, let's see how we did that before. We have to sell that. <laughs> so. Okay. So. And let's bring up our character toolbar here. Give it a bit of space. And we can just touch up this this type really and just move it into position. We can play with that for a little while. We might want to jig around our speech bubble a little bit. Bring that type in there a little just to give it that little appearance that it's coming in from the side there. Okay. Maybe we can edit transform scale. You get the uh, you get the gist. We're just going to toggle that until we're happy with it and try and fit it in. And that's looking pretty much the same as 
the finished article. And I think that's it. That's the speech bubble. And finally, we have one more tweak to do, and that's just to add the little shine on the hair there. If we look at our original, we've got this little shine. We can do that very, very easily. What we can do is come to the hair and create a new layer. Okay. And we can just grab our polygon lasso tool and we can just draw ourselves a shine. And let's fill that with some white there. And just change the scale of that just a little bit. And let's get let's click on the eye just to get rid of that a sec. And we can click if we select the hair layer and click outside. All we need to do is um, click back on the layer above, and we're going to click on the layer mask again. Whoops! Actually, it's uh, before we do that, we need to select inverse. That's it. And once we do that, then click on the mask, and we've created another mask for that. And if we click on the little chain like earlier, we can move that sheen around as and when we like and, and just toggle the position of that. Let's edit, uh, rotate that. Just to rotate it a little bit and uh, finish it off. And there we have it. That is it. I think that is finished. There is our complete Roy Lichtenstein-esque pop art. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I certainly enjoyed making it and sharing it with you guys. I hope you learn a lot from it and go out there and create your own pop art. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, my link is in the description and on the channel page. Uh, let me know how you guys get off. It would be a real surprise to hear from you and see your own. Well, thanks again for watching and subscribe to the channel because I'll have a lot more videos like this coming up soon. So keep an eye out. So have fun guys and I will see you next time.